Hey bro, Mr. Shaw here once again coming with you with another video on how to burn things using Nero and other burning ROMs, but specifically Nero in this video as well as using your DVD burning equipment, whatever it may be, maybe a DVD burner, maybe a CD burner, maybe a Blu-ray burner even, but in this video we're concentrating on burning a DVD using Nero 8 onto a DVD disc and playing it on your DVD player in a good fashion like so you can play this DVD on a PS2 or a Xbox or wherever you may want to play it on. It will be playable on that. That's how good this burning process will be. It's not like placing files onto a disc. It does not work like that. It actually encodes it specifically. And when I was trying to find out how to do it, I had major problems and I wasted loads of discs trying out different methods. And I found this method is the best and the only method for me. So, I'll just show you how to start it off. So, Nero, you get Nero 8, you can get the trial in my video description, that, or Nero 9 trial actually, but it shouldn't be too different. And you find the create and edit tab, and you go to author, edit, and capture video. And what will come up now is Nero Vision 5, or maybe Nero Vision 6, I haven't really tried Nero 9 out yet. Well, what you do from here is go to DVD and I've got the expansion pack that allows you to burn Blu-ray discs, HD discs and you don't really need that unless you're burning a Blu-ray or HD DVD for which you will need a specialized burning drive, it's not just a normal drive, you will need a Blu-ray burning drive and well for now we're just burning a normal DVD that's not a Blu-ray DVD or a HD DVD, it's a normal DVD and you do this by going to make DVD go to this little tab and DVD video you click that and this will come up this is where you import all your files for instance uh, you can import it from let it say as it says there import disk from the drive or my virtual drive wherever you want to do but I'm just gonna drag in a video copying PS2 games my video before this video and I've dragged that in I can also drag in a number of other videos let's say if I could do a double up yeah I can so and then you can change the title of it so let's just call this copying ps2 games let's say duplicating ps2 games same thing but if two videos two different videos so you're fooling it into thinking something totally different anyway this is the uh, video two videos you can drag in as many as you want but stay within the limit the more you place, place in, if I place in like a hundred odd million of them, the quality will go down and just make sure that your video is within like a good radius of a gig. So if your video is over a gig, uh, it may get a little bit low quality. It says there the quality for now it's excellent but it may get a bit crappier. And if I import another, I don't know, maybe another eight of these, it will say quality gone lower. And if it goes over this line here, over the 4.38 GB line, the quality will go downhill because it just needs to encode. It needs, it's it got, it uses a lot of space to encode it. But enough of the encoding lecture and space lecture. You can also uh, edit your video here by edit movie, of course, highlight video titles and so on. And you can also create uh, chapters like in a video, in a real video. And you do this by going to create chapters like I just did. And go to generate chapters and you can uh, specify the sensitivity and the chapter length. Uh, and it goes by audio change, so if suddenly audio changes in the middle, go from da -da -da to me. It just says specify. Oh, it's a different scene, new chapter. I don't know why I did those special effect noises, but that's how I imagine it works. But let's just cancel the chapter thing because I don't really want to create chapters yet. And just go to next and back where we were. And from here, we go to next again. You wait for a while, and this is where you create the menus. I've got a bunch of cool 3D menus like this one. For instance, it's not too cool, but I like it. Wait for it to load. 
and well it just looks like this this is where the video is on you use your remote to go from which video you want to the other video this is where you can also change the names you can, can't really see that but there's hanging screens I can call this copying DVD two capitals then cool and copying DVD video and you can also change the text and customize and change the audio you can import audio and so on but, but it's got its own standardized audio I'm not sure what this sounds like but we can check it by going to next when you finished playing with your menus by the way you will have to download some of these that are two standard uh, 3d and don't know a few standard normal 2d and you can also get animated 2d there but you will have to download them they are free from the Nero site so do get some if you've got Nero so we're going to next again and this is what it looks like when it starts up and then these are the videos got some catchy tune in the background it sounds a bit like Star Wars or Star Trek actually so that's what it looks like I'm happy with what it looks like can't really see the text but I'll make it shorter maybe go back make it shorter but I'm fine with that and then you go to next again and burn currently you don't need to put in a disk because all it's doing for now is encoding the menus in it's encoding the thing that allows you to play it on DVD players and just encoding the necessary information and making the video playable on DVDs so if you burn it onto a DVD and you take it out it will look totally different than you would expect it looks like a real DVD so this is basically how you burn a video or a movie onto a DVD and it will play on your DVD player this is probably the only method for me and you can use other burning ROMs and I may do videos on how to do it but I usually use Nero and I'm happy with Nero and well you can actually save your project so or not the actual encoding you can actually save the project before the encoding you can't stop the encoding in the middle and then continue it or you can or you, it's a complicated process but I've never done it because I just let it flow that sounds dirty but I let it go and do its thing so this is basically how you encode a video to play on a DVD player or a number of videos or whatever you want to encode that's in video format and play on a DVD player like I keep saying and this has been Mr. Shell and I'm gonna end this video because I'm blabbering so if you've got any more questions comment send me a message don't know send me an email or something and I will try and answer it in the most specific way without blabbering in the message so thanks so much for watching, see you all later, or actually you'll hear me all later, be more specific about things.